Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin, and today we have unexpected tradition. This is the part three of the video. If you didn't see part one and part two, that's okay. Watch part three, right? Anyways, let's not waste time. Let's get started. Every single day. Okay, so we're back. Now, this particular one, they didn't say anything about aging or whatever. Just say that it's carefully crafted with the rare tobacco from Peru. So, yeah, we'll give this one a try and see, see you know, what happened. Because, to be really honest with you, I thought by now, I would have finished all the review already. But nope. Decide to slack off and this is what I get. <laughs> Recording very last minute, trying to get everything done. But, Nevertheless, we gotta, gotta continue to smoke. Mm. This is a really nice, pleasant, grassy, hay, uh, woodsy uh, smell from dry, uh, just dry, dry, dry leaf on it. So let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So this is called unexpected tradition, and I. I just feel kind of weird to call it unexpected tradition because like tradition is something that you may have had it, right? So technically it wouldn't be unexpected because you may have had it. You, when you say unexpected tradition, it will be like something other people calls you. Like if you had a friend that's Asian, you go to their house and their whole house is full of Buddhas and everything. Before they eat dinner, they say grace. No, that's unexpected, right? That's unexpected tradition. But not like for them, like that's normal. That's how we do it in our house all the time. So yeah, that 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 makes a difference, right? So I believe this is one of the small one too. Yeah, this is the fifty six by fifty versus that six by fifty. So do you have an unexpected tradition or expect uh, or a tradition that other people will have say, hey, that's unexpected. I didn't know. You know, something like that. Uh, for you, if you do have it, share in the comment below. Love to know. Um, let me tell you about one of the unexpected things we have in this house. Holy cow. Okay. Green. Grassy, a little bit salty, mineral, slight bitterness, salty. <laughs> it's just like a soil green saltiness to it. I hope, hopefully, this gets better. Anyway, unexpected addition. So, uh, me and my wife, we go to Ikea once in a while because this stuff is so cheap and you can just literally buy anything and then use it, destroy it, and then get another one, right? Uh, so, because it's so easy, just end up picking up everything, we made a tradition to not buy items that we cannot pronounce, all right? So, I know that uh, in, in Ikea, all the stuff is named after region or, or city or, or location names, and majority of them we can't pronounce. So. Uh, if we really wanted something, we'll go to Google and Google how it's pronounced before we go because if we can't pronounce it, we can't buy it. That's an unexpected tradition, I guess. It's like, what are you thinking? If you can't pronounce, you can't buy. See, I wish we can do that for all of the stuff that we buy because obviously I can pronounce more stuff than my wife could, uh, especially when we buy Asian stuff. So, but then she can pronounce more English stuff better than me in, in you know certain cases when we go to japan there's plenty of stuff you can pronounce so you know i i would have saved so much money but no only on ikea items don't know why that's the one day we just started saying that and then we just fall with it you know that's just it happens it just happens so what is your unexpected tradition uh you know it's nice to have tradition i have to say it's nice to have tradition 
uh, people say, oh, you gotta move away from the old tradition and then evolve into the new things and all that stuff. I say that's a bunch of bull. Tradition is a tradition because it makes sense. It makes sense to do something. It makes people happy and all that stuff. That's why <clears throat> you wanted you wanted to have a tradition of it. And what I hate the most, one thing I hate the most is Chinese characters. Writing Chinese is to be a beautiful thing, okay? If you seen the character, calligraphy and stuff like that, you understand they are beautiful if it's written right correctly. And China decides to simplify that. China decided to simplify that. China is the only country that uses China, uh, simplified Chinese. Taiwan, uh, if you're in Singapore, if you're in Hong Kong, you use traditional Chinese. It takes longer to write them, yeah, but they look super beautiful and all the character makes perfect sense. All right, uh, 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 Just like, almost like English where a word, you can guess the word's meaning by a uh, certain part of a word. Very, very green tastes like salad well not salad dressing but green like uh, the bitter kind the the uh, the broccoli sprouts kind of stuff okay so uh, in English certain words you can guess the tr uh, the, the what it means by uh, certain part of the word Chinese the same thing uh, we have symbols that just kind of tells you what that would have meant okay there are uh, part of the word that will say is movement. There are part of words that means it's something that was said. Um, um, hence, uh, it could be an anamanapia, it could be just sound, a sound that doesn't mean anything. Uh, there is uh, uh, character part of character that might tell you that this could be a vegetable or grass or plant. Uh, there are part of the word that can tell you that this is uh, actually an animal, a meat, a, a, a you know, or, or flesh of some sort. You know, this ways to tell that but once you simplify that all that stuff is gone all that stuff is gone so for them change that like, you know change from traditional chinese to simplify chinese it's like you lazy bastard <laughs> don't do that learn the traditional chinese if you can read the traditional chinese more likely you can read the simplified chinese if you can read simplified chinese chances are you can't tell that what the traditional is about seriously don't do that character created specifically for that reason it's beautiful it makes sense simplify it doesn't make sense well, Chinese got like, China's got to kill me for this anyway so yeah certain tra traditions should have been kept you know a, a, a family that says grace because they like to sit in a big family that's a traditional thing Chinese people like to sit in a big table everybody eat together that's a traditional thing and and unfortunately in America everybody's very independent so what uh, you only have thanksgiving to have a big family meal traditional chinese family they have that kind of big meal all the time it is in tradition to have three generations living under one household so that was normal to have a big table to eat and and stuff like that at, at times that could be awkward because for example if your mother is ex expecting you to have kids soon and you don't every day you gotta eat dinner and lunch and breakfast you gotta hear them say when you guys have kids well I will have kids when you're not home to listen to my walls. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, traditional is, tradition is a good thing. To have a tradition is a good thing. Uh, being traditional is kind of different. Though. So we should evolve certain things, but not change what's good, you know. Being up to date doesn't mean how to for, forsaken your tradition. So don't do that. Anyway, this cigar... I only took a few puffs and I feel hot. That usually means that this cigar is somewhere between medium and full body. Somewhere between medium and full body. So I'm gonna take my time and gonna smoke through it and I'll let you know in just a few minutes.
Now, I was gonna smoke a little longer before I jump back in, but I really do not like this cigar. It tastes so earthy, so grassy, so such with the with the such of a dryness to the mouth. Like uh, when I say dryness, it's like when you chew on grass, you can't get that rawness of the grass taste out of your mouth. It's it's got that particular flavor in my mouth. I did not like it at all. But I'm gonna try my. Okay, so I'm gonna count this as one third in, and I'm very very disappointed in this cigar because it tastes so grassy, so. It's got that rawness of the grass in there that I did not like. Even made my soda taste horrible because I tried to wash that off that taste. It doesn't go off. So every puff I, I take, I'm like imagining, I'm thinking about uh, uh, what new cigars coming out soon and all that stuff. And then one of the ones that I look forward to is actually the Camacho Distillery aged uh, Toros. Those I really want to buy, but you know, I've been talking to the David of that I go to and uh, they haven't got it yet. Even though Cigar City's got it, I just feel kind of weird, you know, because I usually buy my Camachos from Davidoff and, and I'm had to debate between buying from Davidoff or buying from, you know, Tim. So, um, I don't know. It was a big decision. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Um, another one is the Undercrown one. The Undercrown from the IPC here, that one is supposed to be really awesome. The package is so awesome. There's a few more from this IPCP that I want to buy simply just from the box and I hope none of them taste like this one because for Avo this is very disappointing or at least for me this doesn't suit my uh, palate I mean if you're like a vegan or like a health freak and kind of stuff like that you might like this because it tastes like grass um, to be really honest with you you know it's hard to uh, imagine somebody like what they eat for diet you know because now I do keto diets and I don't always like what I eat. I mean, it's good that I can eat it, but I don't always like what I eat. Because if you eat steak every single day, you're gonna get sick of steak, right? If you eat bacon every single day, you get uh, sick of bacon. I, I know you gotta say, no, 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 I can eat that any day and I'll be fine. You know, try to eat that six days in a row, two meals a day, right? For like two or three weeks. You, you, every time you taste meat, you fuck, you feel like you gag. I guarantee you, if that's all you eat, all you eat was steak and bacon and nothing else. As soon as you t taste that beefiness, oh, you're gonna vomit. So, yeah, this, you know, this just drive me to like, oh my god, why am I smoking this kind of thing, you know? Kind of disappointing. It's so grassy, it's so green, it's almost minty. You know, it's uh, I, 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 I kid you not, this thing tastes like I just took a chug of a handful of grass with some dirt in it. I came at Retro Hill because it doesn't smell pleasant to me. But yeah, I'm one third of the way in. I'll continue to work on this and hopefully I can finish this because this thing... It's only that much better than the Gurkha, <laughs> in my opinion. So this is one that I will not get another one of. I will not. I refuse to. Avo, this is a bad one. All right, continue. Halfway through, there's not much better thing I can say. Construction not bad, burn not bad, taste horrible. Entire thing tastes like grass. Entire thing has that grassy aftertaste and mineral and and uh, uh, soil. You know, uh, just not my kind of cigar. Not my kind of cigar. And it it has a lot of strength to it too. It's definitely a medium, medium plus, if not full. Uh, it definitely has a lot of strength. I'm, I'm like every puff I take is like asking myself, should I should I finish this? Should I continue? But for you guys, I will continue. I will, I will keep it down until this thing changes flavor or something like that. This thing needs to be dipped into soy sauce and smoke. This is not my flavor. Just oh, I hope that last one isn't like that too.
this one is not my favorite. Probably the worst out of the four right now. We'll continue. Okay. Back for final thought. At the end, at the last third, it kind of got sweeter, but that grassing is still there. And I do want to update this. Uh, this is definitely closer to a full body cigar. Uh, as I smoke it, I start to feel the strength come more and more. So it catches up. It became a full body cigar. Uh, so it's definitely a full body cigar. But in terms of the flavor, not worth that full body. I did not like it, and I definitely don't recommend it. This is like one of those things you try once and never try again kind of thing. So yeah, that's my verdict on this. Burnt, good. Construction, good. Taste, bad. Uh, yay. Uh, a full body. Uh, not worth my money. I did not like this out. I did not enjoy this out. Smoking this is every moment is like a torture. Every moment is like a torture and you know having answered the, the, the text message and stuff like that help me forget that they take this taste This taste is like uh, It's just uh, uh, Yeah, this is one cigar. I will not smoke again. I will not smoke this again. So yeah, bad cigar Let's not smoke this again uh, while we're at it make sure to um, comment below on what's your unexpected tradition and make sure to also let me know what is the worst cigar you have ever smoked. What which cigar is the worst cigar you ever smoked? Because this is bad. It's not like a bad burn or bad draw or anything. Draw is fine, but the taste is bad and and uh, the taste is lingers. So no matter what I drink to wash off that taste, I even try vodka. Vodka tastes better than this in that. It, it, like, you literally, ah, don't know how to ex uh, describe. It. Anyways. If you like the review, which shouldn't like this particular one, and, and you know, everybody in Seattle Smoke Solutions waiting for me to answer their questions. Uh, if you like uh, this review, make sure to uh, drop by once in a while. I might have more recorded ones because I try to, I'm, I need to try to catch up on all the cigars I haven't reviewed yet because every time we have a show, uh, I smoke whatever I grab, not whatever I need to review. So yeah, comment below what you like, what you don't like and all that stuff. And if you'd like to join Shadow Smokes Legion, uh, you can ask a member to invite you. Make sure to also check out better reviews from Bob the Cigar Guy and Martina Maya's channel, okay? Make sure to check those out and don't smoke the cigar. Every time I didn't just keep this up burning, it's like, uh, smoke output is pretty good though. It does have smoke output. Uh, so make sure to check out those ones. If you like it, hit a like button and, and that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do, okay? So yeah, we'll finish that fourth one next time. I'll see you guys next time. Be safe, don't smoke this cigar if you don't have to. Uh, it's one of those things, try it one time, never try it again. And I will see you guys next time when I re record another review for that last one, which is unexpected moment. Unexpected moment, okay? Unexpected moment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Oh.